Why do you need women in your life? To organize me. Um, to make sure I book my flights on time. Um, um, and to remind me the things that I always forget. So basically a secretary kind of... Kind of yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they are my biggest healers. They have also caused the biggest harm and suffering in my life. <laughs> but why do you need them? But I need them all of the time. Why? They, they look after me. Without the Shaktis, I'll just be a Shiva floating around. Just being present. What's the fun in that? Because look, have you seen these women? They're incredible, beautiful, powerful, strong, inspiring. This is why I need them. They make me a better version of myself. Why are you doing Because uh, I cannot control myself at all. And woman can. <laughs> control you. Control yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I need woman to feel balance. Otherwise, I have too much masculine energy, then it's not so much intuitive. It's a question of balance. Do you need women? Yeah. Why? <laughs> because they, they bring something like really interesting and unique in my life. They are the best thing in the world, man. I cannot live without them. <laughs> you got me, huh? you got me. <laughs> so why? Because they are special, they are sweet, uh, I don't know, they are amazing. It's a negative circuit, positive circuit that makes, makes a whole, mm -hmm. makes a union. So we need each other, obviously, you know. Why do you need women in your life? To love. To love. You need them. For sure, we need everybody. I don't need them, but... It's just people that give you good company. I feel much more alive, I feel much more... I have more energy, I just I feel better. I would even say, what would I do without women? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like most of the joy in my life has come in the company or because of women. Without a woman I start to take myself too seriously and I start to take my goals too seriously and I kind of become like a goal-achieving machine. And with a woman, I feel more at ease and I can enjoy the present moment much more and life becomes a bit more sweet in general. Also, if I don't have a woman's touch for long enough, I start to feel the sadness within. It start to feel a bit like lonely and you know the song, people are strange from the doors. That's how I feel if I don't have women's touch for some time. I feel like I become strange, people are strange, everything becomes like a background. So I feel like I need a woman in my life to feel more in my heart. And I feel like being with the right woman gives you another perspective to life, another perspective to yourself, and therefore makes you expand and grow as a man. If there is something that you can change in women, what would it be? I don't know, period. <laughs> what would you do about it? <laughs> now, uh, that it would be less painful and less yeah. emotional. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah. It's not much. They are what they are. And it's our job to deal with them being what they are. <laughs> and likewise, vice versa. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes a little bit less lunatic can be more comfortable. Right? Less what? Lunatic. <laughs> what do you think women need to change? Женская логика. Женщина спорит не фактами, а выводами. Например, ты принес картошку мелкую. Она говорит: "Ты хочешь, чтобы я вообще с кухни не вылезала? Так ты себе рабыню нашел? Все вы мужики, вам бы такого баб загнать!" Лишь бы вам где-то шля... Бля... 
there's all this feminist movement, but act the feminist movement is actually very masculine. Yeah. So that's all. If they could just be themselves, that's yeah. all. Like not change anything. Just get rid of all the bullshit that's accumulated during yeah. all this time. Yeah. And get to the roots and be real, be feminine, be soft. To live with an open heart, always and ever. Never close your heart. Um, I'd prefer if I could just show up and be reliable. <laughs> Just showing up, right. like it's a bit annoying when they're all full shaktis, really flaky, right. and just not showing up. So yeah. Maybe that woman give me more space, give me more, more freedom. I see many strong women in my life becoming slaves to their emotions, and like feeling, 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 and it's all nice and beautiful, but it's like not having enough desire to rise above it. I feel like most women in most cultures consider themselves as the prize. So if a sexual connection happens, it's because she decided to give that prize to you. And I don't feel like it's a right point of view. I don't feel it's a conscious point of view at all. I don't feel like the woman is the prize and I don't feel like the man is the prize. I feel like the prize is when the connection happens. The connection itself is the prize. So whether it's the man considering himself as the prize or the woman, it's it's always feels a bit wrong and I don't like it. I don't like to to play with that energy at all. So if I could change something in women, it's for them to realize that the prize is in the connection and not them. I don't like all of them. I like some women, some others I don't like. Don't lie, honey, don't lie. <laughs> uh, no. also like... What do you like about them? <laughs> yeah, this is a trap, no? No? No, no. Okay. Simple, uh, just basic. Everything, really. Their hair, their bodies, their sharp wit of mind. Um, a different sense of opinion. Um, headstrongness, I guess. That's what I like about women. Yeah, so intuition, the sixth sense, make me full, like, attractive. That they are sweet, uh, that they take care of us, that they worry. I don't know. I think it's that. And I love my wife too. <laughs> so there is something specifically that you like about the feminine tits. energy? Tits. Yeah, what is it? Tits. Tits. Yeah. Openness. Vulnerability. It's like a beautiful mirror, you know? Like you, can, you can look at women in the eyes and you can mirror so much. What do I personally like about women? I really like how they look and how they smell uh, and I like all of the things that make them all pretty and stuff. I also love the fact that it's so mysterious and magical and connected to the universe. The, uh, the witchy nature of women. Do you personally like in women? Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> I like the softness, I like the bodies, I like the shape of the body, I like the just the feminine qualities, the, like the things that I don't have, the things that men in general don't have, just, uh, yeah. I think that there is a reason why so many products are embracing the female form is because it's really a work of art it's divine it's beautiful i love the female form i love how women can take things that are very very serious and just burst this bubble of seriousness and have a laugh have a different perspective and remind all of us that this is just a game i love how women can spot something that you haven't seen in yourself how they can call you on on your bullshit, how they can inspire you just by being who they are. I like how because of women you want to be better as a man. Especially if the woman is talented in something, being around her makes you want to be better as a, as a man. Not better than her, but better, being a better man. It's just something natural that happens within you. you don't, it's not something that you have to push yourself to be. And I absolutely love what women bring into our lives, which is love, which is beauty, which is art, which is gratefulness, and obviously a lot of pleasure. So yeah, I love women.